What is going on guys, Apple Fox here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at some tips and tricks to help you save battery on your iPhone. But you probably watched some videos already that show you some ways to save battery, but most of the time you just see some ways that can be performed on any version of the iOS. For example, some general things like setting brightness to minimum, and this is really obvious and you know that it can save battery. I want to make a video that compiles tips and tricks that are specified on iOS 10 and all of the new features available in iOS 10. I already made one video like this and there I mentioned some cool tips that I'm not going to mention here. So if you haven't watched it, then make sure you do so before watching this one and then come back. So the first tip I want to share with you is really easy. There was a new feature introduced in the iOS 10 called Race to Wake. It is great because you don't have to touch or press any button to light up the screen. You don't realize it, but the screen goes on even if you don't want it to. For example, you're just carrying your phone and the screen keeps lighting up or you're just having your phone in the pocket and you stand up and the screen might go on. It doesn't always have to and of course it depends on many different factors, but it is possible. And this is not something that helps you save battery. You can easily disable it if you go to settings and the toggle can be found under the display and brightness menu. If you are unable to find it, it's because you have iPhone 6 or older and this feature is not available for you. Another thing you can do in order to save battery is to set the auto lock to be as short as possible. You could of course do it in iOS 9, but in iOS 10 you don't have to search for it under general and accessibility and now it is where it belongs under display and brightness. But to be honest, I miss here some more options because now it's very limited. And I would like to get 10, 15 or 30 minutes for example. Well, if you delete some applications, it could also help, but who wants to get rid of the apps that are used? As you know, in iOS 10, you can also delete the stock apps like the iTunes Store or Weather, for example. But you shouldn't do it if you want to save battery. It of course helps when you delete some of the unneeded apps, but it's a little tricky when deleting the native apps. If you click delete, the icon disappears, but that doesn't mean that it is completely gone. As you can see, I deleted the iTunes Store, and if I go to the App Store to get it back, you don't even need to have an internet connection to download it. When I click download, it's just instant and it proves that the app was not deleted. In iOS 10, we're added so many new sounds when interacting with the phone that of course take battery. For example, there are new sounds when typing and also the new fancy lock sound. So if you want to disable those sounds in order to save battery, you need to go to settings and sounds and you can untoggle both of these. Besides that, there are other things like disabling background app refresh, low power mode, but these are not specified on iOS 10, so I didn't want to talk about it in this video. So that's it for today's video, thank you so much for watching and also we hit 500 subscribers the other day, so big thank you to all of you guys for your support. Make sure you check out my other videos and also subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be unboxing and reviewing the iPhone 7 really soon. Have an amazing day and see you next time.